Hi, Rob Leonard here in the Hazel's Wine Department, and we are bringing you Sunday specials for November 3rd and 4th. John was the first one to pull you down. He took one drink and he started to clown. Passed you the Hazel, Jane and Jack. Penelope got you and passed you right back. We are starting in France in the Savoie, the foothills of the Alps. Two terrific wines from one producer, both from 2022. This is Cabo Savoyard, 100% Jacquere white wine. So now most of you probably haven't heard of Jacquere because of course, if you're not hanging around in the Savoie or you're not hanging around in Switzerland, really doesn't grow anywhere else. But what we're gonna get here is a classically styled high altitude Alpine white. Up front, nice, sweet peaches and cream on the nose. Little hints of nuttiness, just a vague sense of citrus kind of hanging around in the background on this wine. Opens up into a little more pronounced citrus, but we'll get to that in a moment, because when it hits your palate, it's got this lovely, round, polished texture. This is really a textural wine. As it carries through your palate, the acidity is going to stay nice and firm. It's gonna bring a good mineral component right through the mid palate and right on through the finish. Now, lots of times acidity in this wines can be chalky, it can be juicy, it can be tart. Really here, best described as mineral and firm, but it really does a good job of propping up the fruit. As it finishes, we're gonna get into this unripe citrus and a slight hint of something almost green or bitter, think almost bitter almond. I was kind of leaning towards pomelo skin if you've ever had that. But a very interesting, lovely, complete, food-friendly, high-altitude white. We are staying in the Savoie. We are with Cabo Savoyard. This is their 100% Pinot Noir. Classic, high-altitude, cool climate Pinot Noir. Up front, light, delicate, but concentrated red cherry, red berry fruits. Leans a little darker as it starts to open up. Almost a hint of licorice. Little bits of earth and root veg showing through as well. Background notes of a slight herbal tone, maybe a hint of medicinal herb. Kind of leans a little bit towards Gamay in some ways, but still very Pinot. On the palate, a bit on the light side. I gave it about a two out of five for body, but very fresh, nicely balanced acidity, extra fine tannins here. Just turns a bit meaty on the finish. So like a good burgundy, it shows a little bit of red meat, just a hint of smokiness to that meat as well. Gives a lot of interest to a nice long finish. This is a rock solid, light-ish Pinot. Folks, one more wine to talk about. We are in Italy for the 2021 Cinchette Gropello. Now, if you haven't heard of Gropello the grape, neither have we. Super obscure, tiny production up on the shores of Lake Garda in the north of Italy. I have not had a chance to try it here before we film, but I will have had a chance to try it when you come and see me on Sunday. John was the first one to pull you down. He took one drink and he started to clown. Passed you the Hazel, Jane and Jack. Penelope got you and passed you right back.